Hi, I'm Roy Nelson, a uh, student at Liberty University, uh, classes, uh, intercommun intercommunications uh, class here at Liberty, online, uh, HSER 508, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Cooper. Uh, let's get started. Uh, my interpersonal communication project, of course, I'm Roy Nelson. And uh, we've already talked about that screen, so let's go to the next screen. Inter According to Stewart, interpersonal labels the kind of communication that happens when people involved talk and listen in ways that maximize the presence of the personal. Now, Stewart also defines the personal where he uses five characteristics that define the personal. And he describes them, defines them rather, as unique, unmeasurable, responsive, reflective, and addressable. So I, I, I came across this online uh, a couple of days ago, so I wanted to uh, use it in my video presentation. Uh, the top one says, my words came out fine. They were processed incorrectly by your brain. That's sometimes how we speak. Uh, there was some misunderstanding about the term island. Now, the place that I work, uh, we do a lot of uh, reconstruction, the remodeling of homes that's been storm damaged. Sometimes we run into this problem. The customer wants one thing. Uh, as a contractor, when we go out and we misinterpret what they're saying, of course, this is making fun. We don't, we're not quite that bad. Uh, overarching master goal. Uh, my overarching goal is to be Become less sensitive and emotional to the expressions others relate to me, as well as focus more on what God expects from me regarding listening to others intimately. Sometimes I have a history of, I have a history rather of tuning people out if they get too far. You, you ever remember when you're driving and you go the same direction all the time and you start out and when you get to the place of destination you look back and say, what did I miss all the in the in innards of that, that travel. Well, for me, it's the same thing. If I'm talking to someone and I'm not listening intimately, I kind of tune out and then tune back in. You'll learn a little bit more about that later from me because the uh, uniquely you uh, uh, behavior blends kind of pointed that out. Another goal I have is to become proficient at level skill level one. Uh, according to Peterson, real listening gets us inside each other and there seems to be something in such human connection that touches and changes us. Continuing on the overarching master goal, according to Burley Allen, listening is threefold. One, taking in information from speakers, other people, or ourselves, while remaining non-judgmental and empathetic. Two, acknowledging to the talker, rather, in a way that invites the communication to continue. And three, providing limited but encouraging input to the talker's response, carrying the person's idea one step forth, further. The course is all about enlarging the conversation. The conversation is the relationship. If the relationship stops, all of the relationship is lost and becomes smaller. That's according to Stewart. He also talked about incremental degradation. If compromises at work, standards are lowered as to how often we talk or talk about, and most importantly, the degree of authenticity is brought to the conversation. He also talks about fierce conversation. And fierce conversation is the one in which we come out from behind ourselves into the conversation and make it real. We're actually engaging with the, uh, with the speaker and, and as a listener. Now my behavior blend, or the disc personality types if you will, uh, there are four temperamental models of human behavior. Uh, one is the, if you look, uh, D is active, task oriented, I is active, people oriented, that's why I scored, uh, S is passive, people oriented, C is passive, task oriented. If you look, according to this, I'm supposed to be in tune with people. 
really where I feel most comfortable when I'm talking with people, or I'm learning through this course to be able to be to become a better listener. Now, of course, my disc type is IS. Uniquely, you blend. This is this is expected of me. I. This is me. IS. Now, as far as the background for me, of course, African American half. I'm a male. <laughs> uh, I'm a. a, a uh, oldest of eight children with two parents. Uh, it says only college educated in family. So far that's true, although my children are educated college, from college. Uh, dedicated to my family. I'm supportive, industrious, because I'm the oldest, uh, creative, leader, and of course Native American heritage. We we like to spend a lot of time going to powwows and uh, uh, festivals in Oklahoma. Uh, Assessment, interpersonal communication skills test, I scored 53 out of 100. And that's kind of disheartening, because I thought I was better than that. But I'm not going to take it, uh, there's some areas to work on, I'm going to take the positive road on that one. Insightfulness, 80. Verbal expression, 38. Mm. Assertiveness, 56. I thought I was a little higher than that one. Listing skills, 44. Ouch. Mmm. Need some work. Thank you, Dr. Cooper, in this class. <laughs> I'm going to work hard on that one. Emotional management, 45. Well, we'll talk a little bit later about that category. Now, the description of my behavioral blend. What's expected of me? Inspiring, humorous, interested in people, influencing, open, I'm honest. Uh, all that's according to Carbonell. This is me. Dynamic, I've been told that. Outgoing, life of the party. I don't go to parties, but okay, we'll take it. Life's, loves to interact with others. Peace, loves peace rather, and harmony, and flexible. I think those are good traits. Let's talk about the positive and negative behavioral blends. The, on the positive side, strong personal skills, warm and kind-hearted with people, enjoyment with deep and personal conversation, Loves to assist people in need. Joy with others, when others rather ask about my faith. If I know a little bit about enough about faith to get me to convert and follow my Lord, I should be able to share that with others. On the negative side, nobody likes to talk about the negative. Here we go. Over overthinking on issues. Boy, I'll think about it forever. Oversensitive to challenging remarks. I'm working on that one. Impatient and tendency to fill in words for others while they speak. We talked about that earlier. Uh, I have a tendency to finish sentences for people. I'll work on that. Tendencies to influence others. Now, influence could be on the positive or the negative. This one is, tends to be a little negative. Uh, hopefully, as I journey forward with the Spirit of the Lord, I don't. that can be more of a positive nature. Let's talk about barriers to communication. Did I skip one? No. Uh, negative self-talk. Self-disclosure to others, fatigue, and rescuing others. Those are barriers to, uh, this one, rescuing others, kind of relates to that filling in the blanks for others. Solutions to those barriers. I need to think clearly and honestly about who I am by strengthening my foundation, understanding what matters mostly, changing negative thought patterns to positive ones, listening at level one. I'm committed to that one, or all of them, but particularly that one. Lastly, become aware of OK attitudes. This is learn how to operate my laptop. Noise completion. Uh, Noise pollution, according to Burley Allen, there's two types of noise pollution he talked about, internal and external. On the internal side, you see it's hearing what you want, based biased listening, emotional listening, and fatigue. External uh, noise pollution would be past experiences not dictate how I listen. Exercise patience, being positive, synthesizing information clearly. I saw a couple other uh, visual visual aids. This talked about, I mentioned earlier about 
if you know enough about your faith to understand and accept Jesus, you can help someone. Uh, Albert Einstein uh, was quoted, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Uh, and it, I, I explained earlier about being in the construction business, remodeling business. I've also had a series of uh, bouts with surgery in the last few years. So this one was quite comical for me. Uh, it's important that we, when we talk, we're all on the same page. And that is why we lift on three. Hopefully that never happened to me. Let's talk about an action plan for development. Number one, put into practice skills learned from this class. Listen more intimately. Paraphrase for clarity. Focus intently on speaker. Respect for speaker. Time management improvement. Enabling a humbling spirit to guide me. So, talking about the Holy Spirit and control conflict management. Another couple of visual aids I saw we're picking this up. Uh, that's not what I meant by adding color to your presentation. When we speak, they hear, maybe not on the same page. Uh, the other one was quite comical. Uh, uh, a mom is uh, texting to her son and she says, your great aunt just passed away, LOL. Why is that funny, replies the son. She says, it's not funny, David. What do you mean? He says, Mom, LOL means laughing out loud. She says, oh my goodness, I sent that to everyone. I thought it meant lots of love. I have to recall everyone back 